Hey Fixers and welcome to today's fun video where I, I'm going to discuss the question how to see the command history in Python. So if you, if you know about the command line, if you use the command line for example in your Mac operating system you use the terminal or in a Linux based system you use uh, yeah, the Linux shell or in the Windows system you use the command line then you know if you, um, if you type in a command like here so now if I type in a command like uh, cd dot dot for example to go into a different directory I can I can press the um, arrow up and arrow down to actually uh, select from the previous commands okay so for example if I have a, another command ssh blah 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 and uh, yeah this this won't work because uh, of course it wouldn't, wouldn't work but now I can like I can select the commands I have issued before and a good question is can we do the same in a Python shell so if you open the Python shell and you type in like um, say uh, print hello world and we have like a, a maybe a computation like 10 times um, 42 and so on so we have a few commands let's print another one like um, just have a command say x is equal to 0 and x is equal to x times a x plus 10 for example yeah something like this so now we have a, we have issued a few commands here now can we do the same can we like get the equivalent in python to uh, to the arrow up and arrow down um functionality and actually it works you can in if you open python within a command line shell you can just print arrow up and scroll through the previously executed commands and you can even see that i have like uh, issued some commands in the python shell before so before i even started uh, creating this video i have issued some commands and um, so now this is this is great we can like uh, scroll through the previous history of commands but how can we actually get them get those commands maybe create a file out of the commands that have been previously entered i mean this is this is really interesting because for example if you lend your computer to a friend of yours who is also a coder and he issues some python command you can actually check the history of the python commands that that guy or this girl have issued on your computer so so it may be fun to just write all the python commands into a file and just get them or print them to the shell so that you can see which python commands have been executed on your computer um, previously so um, Windows provides a tool for this and this is called um, read line so you can just is issue import read line yeah and let's just qui quickly and uh, exit the Python shell because I want to show you how to get it on Windows so read line will be already installed in many Windows version and in some um, uh, and in some and Mac OS and Linux but if you if it if this doesn't work then it's probably because it is not installed and in this case you need to enter pip install and then pi read line so not read line so you don't re install the read line package but you install re pi read line for Windows okay and if you enter this it will install it and then you can use it okay so let's open the python shell again and now we we uh, yeah type in import read line we want to get the previously entered commands and now we can we can have a, si a simple for loop okay and um, i give you a quick overview of what we are going to do so this one so we basically check so we we, we import the read line character we go over all indices in our current history length and then we print the history item okay so so we are doing the same thing for i in range read line which is the library we have just imported you type in get current history length so this will give me the number of elements in the in the history okay and now we simply print we can also store it in a list or store it in a file or do anything with the, with with the, with these commands now. So if you store them in the file, you can of course execute the file again later at a later point, so that you can uh, actually see uh, actually like uh, recompute some stuff you have previously computed and um, save the commands in your Python shell. So that it makes sense sometimes to print it. Sometimes you can also print to a file. P many people don't know, but you can use the print statement to print into a file by using the um, by uh, using the file argument actually in the print uh, function okay but let's print it f uh, just for the uh, just into the shell uh, you can you can print read line dot get get 
current get history item is the function get history item and then we have we use i plus one because we have a shift like the first item is as uh, index one uh, and this function and then and that's it you press ok and now you see oh i get a, lo a long list of commands that i have previously entered for example i have imported the pill um library i didn't i don't even know what i have done here actually so at some point i have imported the sumpy library simp library sky kid learn and so on but i mean <laughs> these sessions seem to be straight yeah so i import two libraries import sky kid learn import sky kid learn and then i enter exit to leave the session i mean <laughs> who does stuff like that <laughs> i don't know maybe 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 there was someone else on my computer just uh, just issuing some random commands here we have import torch vision exit <laughs> so they seem to import some libraries and exit the python shell and again, they import a few libraries, exit the Python shell. I have no clue what happened here, but you can see also see the commands we issued before. All of them like um, print 10 times 42, set x to 0, set x to x plus 10. And then actually also like import read line, we have, we have printed exit so that I can show you how to install the Python, uh, the, uh, the read line, pi read line module. And then again, this was the code we have issued uh, just before uh, the output. Okay, and you see all the Python statements are there. You cannot hide. So if you type in the Python commands on any, anybody else's computer, they can actually check the history of the previously entered commands. Okay, that's it. If you... Um, if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed the small scripts and small Python tricks and also check out our book, Python One-Liners, that has a lot of those small Python tricks. Um, yeah, otherwise subscribe to our channel, subscribe to our free email academy. I give links in the description below. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.